You are my son, but I've done all I can to protect you. The gods smile on you, Octavian. You're a good soldier. I'm a politician. We don't need more politicians. It's not more speeches in the Senate that will change the world. Rome is dying. Why do you think Caesar favored you, sir? I was loyal. No, Octavian. He saw in you the potential to continue his legacy. Not to follow him, but to exceed him. Antony cannot be trusted. His heart lies in Egypt. We must confront the reality that civil war is inevitable. And how will bloodshed save the people of Rome? You are not meant to save them. You are meant to lead them. All men are troubled when their moment has come. I am not Caesar. I don't have his strength. The people loved him, and they will love you. You can't think like an ordinary man. You must reach beyond mortal ambition and do what has never been done. Survive, my son. Rome must have a master. Now you have the chance to surpass the exploits of your glorious predecessor. Alliance with Mark Antony and Lepidus, however tenuous, gives you the space to protect and extend your domains. Once again, your Gaulish friends are menaced by migratory Germans. Defeat them and take the chance to conquer their lands for Rome's glory. Also, pay heed to Pompey, the son of your father's enemy, whose fleet continues to menace your coast. Remember, however, that your ultimate goal is leadership of the Republic. When relations break down, this must be your focus to the exclusion of all else. Retreat! Stopping for now. One of our units has used all its ammunition.
At your service. Loose! Men are wavering. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shame. We are losing ground. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. <laughs> 